question comes up a lot as to where should I give? And I think if we read the Bible, we see a lot of areas that we're responsible for. We should help the poor, we should help the widows, we should help the orphans. Uh, we know we should help the missionaries, for example. All of those are demonstrated in the Bible. We should provide for the priests. Uh, we should provide for those who minister to us, it says in Scripture also. So there's many places where we should give. The way that I make that decision is that uh, Judy and I, we look at our, our giving and we say, are we giving to evangelism? Are we giving to discipleship? Are we giving to the poor? Are we giving to prisoners? Are we giving to orphans? Are we giving to widows? In our giving, is all of that covered? And are we giving locally, the Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria? In other words, are we giving in our community? Are we giving outside of our community into our nation? Are we giving on an international basis? And so those are the questions that we ask ourselves as we give, are we giving to these areas? Now, the second question that we would ask is, is the money being used wisely? I have the privilege of serving on lots of boards of directors over the years of ministries, and what I have found is that there's many very, very good ministries, but I have found some characteristics of good ministries. One is that there is a humility of leadership. So when I am looking at a ministry or a missionary or someone individually, what I'm looking for is, is there a humility? Because that says they're dependent upon God. They don't see themselves as the source of all of this wisdom. So is there a humility of leadership? Secondly, is there a wise use of money? Are they spending money in, in an appropriate manner? I personally have a real problem with some of these ministries that buy jets for their leaders, and that happens too much in America. I think that the resources that God entrusts to a ministry need to, be, need to be used very conservatively, very wisely, and very prudently. So where is that ministry spending their money? Third thing that I would look at would be, how do they treat their staff? Do they treat them with integrity? Do they understand that these are people that are worthy of their hire? Uh, how somebody treats their staff is an important thing. It's very important to me when I give to a ministry to know how are they treating their staff? Are they treating them professionally and competently? That's an important thing. So as I think about giving, I wanna to give to the poor, I wanna to give to the orphans, I wanna to give to the widows, I wanna give these places. Well, why do I wanna do that? The answer is found in Matthew chapter six, where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So how do I develop a heart for orphans, a heart for the widows, a heart for missionaries, a heart for ministry, for evangelism, for discipleship? I do it by putting my treasure over there and then my heart follows. You know, God doesn't need the money. So he's not interested in the money, he's interested in my heart and he wants my heart committed to where his heart is. And I know in reading scripture that his heart is with the poor, the widows, the orphans, those who are downtrodden, the prisoner, far more so than the successful person. He is interested in those who have needs. It says in the Bible, for God so loved the world that he gave. And so all the giving that I do is a love statement. And so these are just some thoughts on giving, but my challenge to you is this. Where do you want your heart to be? Then send your treasure there first.